Aaron Taylor Smith has joined us, uh, and good news this yeah. week in terms of um, not just next season, but the season after. Um, yeah. Tell us what kind of contract has been signed. You know, it's actually, as I was saying, it's the first time in my career I've ever been in a position to commit to a multi year program. Um, and, I, and I think it's, as a driver, it's what you're always striving for because it's year in, year out. It's very difficult when you get to the winter to know what's going to happen the following year. Um, and I, I firmly believe that the continuity is what breeds success, both on track and then off track with your partners, because at the end of the day, everyone has more confidence. You know, you know you're working towards a greater goal. Um, and with this Cooper, I felt it is a three year program that it needs, you know, year one of developing, year two of being able to win races and then hopefully in year three challenge for a championship. So. No, it's, uh, it feels like Christmas has come early, that I can kind of relax now, and it's the first winter I can switch off in and just enjoy it. So it didn't take much discussion? Did it come right out of the blue, as it were? No, like, to be honest, joining Team Hard before the year, I wasn't sure how it would go. Um, but since joining them, I've never felt happier or more at home within a paddock. So I think what Tony has orchestrated with the team, it's just constantly leveling up. So I firmly believe, in terms of what current packages are on the grid this this team are striving towards the front um, and it's a joy to be part of it like it's nice to be able to orchestrate change for the benefit of the whole team not just in my car so yeah it took a bit of work to get there in the end and I am very grateful for, for you know all my sponsors getting on board with me and, and making what I would describe a, a dream a reality yeah mm -hmm. there are six races left and you yeah. talk to anyone in the paddock that their minds are completely focused on the racing this weekend and the racing to come at brands hatch but how many drivers up and down that pit lane of uh, are in a quandary about yeah. next year and the year it's, after it's the worst part like you know you turn up and immediately on a friday you hear of oh have you heard of those hushed rumors of what's happening with this team and that car and this driver yeah. So I, I don't believe there's really any other drivers that have committed. Um, and I think that's what's nice. It, it just gives you that confidence. Even with the six races remaining, you know you put your best foot forward to build for the future. You're not desperate for a result because you get to this time of the year where if you don't have everything sorted, all you want is a, is a podium. All you want is a race win. And you're a bit desperate in some ways. Um, so to not have that and not have that overhanging on me, it's like, yeah, it's, it's like taking a monkey off your back. You can just chill out focus on knowing that you know for years to come we'll be here you can't get rid of me <laughs> just yet yeah. so it's a it's a nice place to be uh, especially as you've got a car that is uh, yeah. has got the potential to deliver what can it deliver this weekend with the burden off your back yeah i think good you know we've obviously done free practice one um which is kind of our race run so to speak and we're p10 which i know like in previous years i might turn my nose up to it but it's uh, probably the most competitive the car has been in a free practice in race trim so i actually think I think we'll have a fair old crack at it. Like, you know, at, at the end of the day, there are 28 or 29 other drivers who want a fair crack at it as well. Yeah. Um, but I'd be confident enough. Like, I want to to try to get to that top 10 and quality shootout and put on a show and see what happens, really. OK, best wishes for this weekend uh, and the next couple of seasons no, to come as you. well. I'm not going anywhere, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Aaron. <laughs>